like that or not. Um, it's a really great city. So you were born and raised there? Yeah. And did you grow up in Boston? It's such an honor to meet you. I'm the mayor of Cincinnati. Welcome. Hi, mayor. And I also want to thank you Will for you all your... you pay us anything? <laughs> no. But I do want to thank you for your work on the environment, too. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it's an important it's cause. Well, did I think... <laughs> I do have a key for you guys and for the show because um, we want you to come back to the city that you've fallen in love with any time that you guys would like. Well, thank you. Lovely. Thank you very much. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, it's really about what not only is the story, but also the characters within that story. So it has to be something where people have a fascination and that there are a lot of twists and turns to a story. And then the characters have to be rich enough in the way that the story unfolds so that you feel really engrossed and you're rooting for somebody or you're rooting against them. But the idea is that it's a combination of the characters and the story that really sort of is what, what calls out to you. The first person that really comes to mind as an actor to play this role would be Robert Redford. And for many reasons, there's so much charm and so much integrity in a very unusual way. Um, and he's a very, very smart, creative, clever person. And so you think if this were a man who were given other choices in life and had other opportunities and could have used all the talent that he had in a different way, he probably would have been an incredibly successful businessman or he would have been successful at anything else. Um, coming to Cincinnati to make The Old Man and the Gun has been a really, um, it's been a fantastic experience. We've been, we've encountered from Kristen in the film office and so many of the local folks, uh, a lot of help and support. Our movie takes place uh, from a period of time from the late 70s to the early 90s and the city and some of the surrounding communities have afforded us um, really great looking locations uh, that are period appropriate. Um, you know, we've been also, you know, we had a casting call early in the process and I think we had 3,000 people show up just to play with background and we needed a lot of period cars and we had people come, you know, from far and wide to help us with that. So the support has been amazing. Uh, it's been a really fantastic experience for, I think, for all of us on the film to be working here. Uh, it's really been, uh, you know, we had a short prep period on this. Mr. Redford's schedule and Casey's schedule opened up and afforded us to jump into production. And when we, you know, Kristen, even before I landed here on the ground, um, she was helping me put a lot of the ground game in place, whether it be from getting permits and, and making the right introductions to the city municipality people we'd have to do with, to Troy and the state film office, and to expediting, putting to get, making sure that we filed our uh, tax credit applications correctly, and you know all of those kind of things to help uh, has been you know it's really been a time and a money saver. I mean it, you know as a producer. I'd have to say that kind of level of uh, assistance is really made uh, making this movie a lot more successful.